Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are trying the Viral Dark Chocolate Strawberry Bites. I don't know about you guys, but I've been seeing them all over TikTok and Instagram and they sound amazing to me. If you've ever tried the, I think they're called Clio Bars, C-L-I-O, Clio Bars that they sell in the grocery stores. Um, they look pretty similar to that and I have tried those before and those are one of my favorite like desserty kind of snacks. Um, they're basically like Greek yogurt bars that are dipped in a little bit of chocolate and they're really, really good. I have all my ingredients right next to me and we're just gonna get started. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just wash all my berries and then we'll get to chopping them. And then I've got my Greek yogurt, we'll coat them, freeze them, melt some dark chocolate and go from there. So if you're interested in this more cooking type of video, then stick around. Um, let me know if you like it, and fingers crossed that the taste test at the end is actually edible. This is such a perfect strawberry. <laughs> I just finished chopping the strawberries. I actually made quite a bit more than I thought it would. So now I'm going to put the chopped up strawberries into a bowl and coat them with some vanilla Greek yogurt that I like. Um, the one that I've been enjoying right now has been the Too Good brand. And I'm gonna start, I, I don't have like the big container of it, I just have the individual. So I'll start with one container and then if that looks too light, I'll add another. All the recipes I find, they don't show any amounts, they just eyeball things apparently. Or if there are measurements, I just haven't found them yet. But I'm just gonna wing it, I'm gonna eyeball it. We just mixed our yogurt and strawberry mix. Now the recipe says to clump them into little piles on a parchment paper lined baking tray, which I have right here, and then pop them in the freezer. Didn't say how long, but I'm gonna assume just a couple hours at least. For I don't know how long it's gonna take the yogurt and the berries to freeze. Um, so in the meantime, I have some extra yard work I have to get done. So I'm gonna quickly pop these into the freezer, finish my yard work, and hopefully by the time I'm done, these will be frozen. And then last step is just melting our chocolate, coating them, and then letting the chocolate harden. So we are halfway there, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back. I just checked in on the dark chocolate strawberry bites. Well, 
I guess right now they're just strawberry bites at the moment, but they're still firming up. They're pretty frozen right now, but still like slightly soft when I touch them. So I'm gonna keep them in the freezer a little bit longer. And meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and start my dark chocolate that needs to melt. I'm using Ghirardelli non-dairy uh, dark chocolate chips. And I have a double boiler going on the stove right now. I'll show you that. And then once the dark chocolate melts and then probably pop them back in the freezer. And I'm gonna show you the double boiler in just a second. So I just put in my chocolate chips. It is quite steamy, but already pretty instantly, the chocolate chips are already melting. So I'm just gonna let this melt down. I'm gonna keep stirring it. And then I'm gonna go grab the strawberry bites that are out in the freezer and I'll put them right here. And we'll go ahead and dip our strawberry bites. Okay, so I grabbed my strawberry bites and it is so cute because I used vanilla Greek yogurt and as I mixed it and combined it, it turned the yogurt pink, which I think is so cute. Um, if you didn't notice, I really like the color pink. Anyways, so we have our frozen strawberry bites and this bowl is very hot from the boiling water and I have my melted chocolate here. Um, I have a spoon with me and I think I'm gonna grab a fork really quickly and we are going to just dip these bites and hopefully I have enough chocolate here if I do not then I will just boil some more chocolate hopefully you can see what I'm doing here um, I'm just trying to coat the bite just enough in the chocolate and then I will go ahead and carefully, carefully lift it out and onto the parchment to dry, to dry, to harden. So let's keep going. I have a feeling my chocolate might actually harden during this process because it's in contact with frozen food. So I might have to reboil my water. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Just trying to coat. Oh my gosh, yeah, the chocolate is already starting to harden. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna put this back on the stove so it doesn't become a yogurt mess. <laughs> okay, you guys, this was kind of a fail. Um, not totally, just a little bit. I ended up with one really good one in this corner and then the rest. <sighs> okay, so I quickly realized I had to keep the chocolate on the burner, but I had already taken the chocolate off the burner. So I think it either like tempered the chocolate or when it mixed with some of the frozen yogurt that got um, onto the burner, it just changed the texture of the chocolate. And then I added the rest of the bag of chocolate chips and my double boiler situation just didn't like that and the chocolate got really thick. <sighs> this is my first time working with chocolate, so I mean, it is what it is, but I'm gonna put these back in the freezer because they're still gonna be good. Like, honestly, I was tempted to just eat the strawberry bites as, the, as they were without any chocolate at all, so I'm not mad about it. I got one really good one we can try together. But I'm gonna put these back in the freezer. And yeah, I mean, it's still gonna be good. Like it's chocolate, which is delicious, strawberries and yogurt, which all taste good to me. So stay tuned and we will try them together. Look at Cooper in the background. Anyways, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, I'm back and I grabbed <laughs> what I think was the best one out of the dark chocolate strawberry bites. And this thing is big, like it's big. So I'm gonna bite into this and we're gonna taste test it finally. It's like four o'clock now and I started this recipe I think at either 11 30 or 12 earlier today so we're gonna try it and see how it is granite is still very cold I just got a lot of chocolate hold on we need another bite Mm-hmm. 
chocolate all over my mouth. Um, this is really, really good. This is wicked good. My friends make fun of me because I say wicked, but I'm from Massachusetts, so that's what you say. You guys, this is really, really, really good though. The berries are obviously more on the frozen side, so it's like more icy. If you want like a more convenient option of this, just buy the Clio bars in the grocery store because they make a strawberry one that was the first Clio bar I ever tried and it tastes exactly like this. But you know, I'm proud of myself, made something homemade, um, tested a viral recipe. Maybe I'll try and make them again sometime. I'm not sure, but it's pretty good. I'm glad I tried it. Not sure if I'll make it again, <laughs> but I thought this was something fun to do. And that's all for me today. Um, yeah, I really don't have anything else going on at the moment. Um, planning a few more travel-y, vloggy videos coming up soon, so be on the lookout for that. But anyways, that's all for me. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.